Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about namespace and scope. So this will be a series of videos and I will try to cover uh, all the details about namespace and scopes in Python. So we'll start with uh, what is namespace and then we will uh, eventually go into the different types of namespaces in detail. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's uh, start this video. So we'll start with a simple Python program and through that we'll try to understand the concept of uh, namespaces in Python. So let's say uh, I have a uh, program here and I have defined a variable whose value is let's uh, call it random and then I have a print statement um, which tries to print the value of uh, let's say x and okay. So now let's run this program and see what happens. So as expected, we can see that the value of x was printed as random. So everything is fine. Now let's do something more here. Now let's try to print the value of y, which we have not defined yet. And let's see what happens. Cool. So as expected, we can see that we have value of x, which is random because we have defined x above. But here we see that at line number uh, at this line, which is value of y, we see an error. It says that name y is not defined. So why is that? Or let's try to understand how this happens in Python. How does Python understand that? OK, this is the variable that we have actually declared, but this one we have not declared yet. I'll try to uh, break down this uh, program line by line and I'll try to explain what is happening behind each line of the code in a more visual way. Here I have a representation of uh, memory and I have a table here which has two columns. Uh, this let's call it uh, key and let's call it value. So let's break down what is happening in our program. So whenever Python sees this line of the code where we have a variable called x, then we have a sign operator and then we have some value here. So two things happens in the background. So first what Python does is whenever it sees any new object, it goes in the memory. So something like this, so it will go in the memory and it will create a new string object whose value is random. So let's uh, add the string value here, which will be random. And because this is inside a memory, it will have some address attached to it. So let's call it um, address one. And after creating this object in the memory, what Python does is it has this data structure, a dictionary data structure, which has uh, basically keys and values. So once it creates any object, what it does is it goes to this data structure and then adds an entry for it. So in the key, it will add the name of the variable that we have defined here. So the name is x. So it will go in the key, it will add a new entry for x and the value for this x will be this memory address. So here we'll have a memory address called address one. So basically this address is pointing to or let's say this is the address which points to this object in our memory so whenever python sees this assign operator it does two things first it goes in the memory creates this object and then assigns this address to the name that we have defined here so python uh, refers to variables as names because they don't hold the value themselves but rather points to the memory where the value is actually stored. Okay, so this was what happens when you declare a variable or in Python when you declare a name. Now when we go to line number two, we have this print statement, we have some string and then we try to access a variable or let's call it name, we try to access a name. So when you try to access a name, what Python does is it goes to this same data structure and in this data structure, it it goes in the key column and tries to look for the name that you are trying to access. So in this case, we are trying to access the name X. So here we have an entry for X and we have the memory address that it is pointing to. 
so what python will do is it will go to this memory address it will see that it has a string data here it will bring that data back to this uh, print function and then we can see that we have actually value of x which is random now let's look at line number three with the same logic now we again have a print statement but at this time we have a value of y so what python will do is it will go in this same data structure and it will try to look for this name in the keys section and it says that there is no any name defined as y so that's why what it will tell us is that this name is not defined yet so we'll get this error name error which says name y is not defined this is how python declares or uh, creates an object and assigns or maps that object to the name that you have defined so this data structure which is basically a dictionary this is what we call as namespace so namespace is nothing but a mapping of the names that you define to the address or let's say to the objects which is stored in your memory so namespace is a mapping of names to the objects that they point to so this is what a namespace is in a nutshell so i will emphasize one thing here as i said in python the variable itself does not hold the value what it does is it points to the memory location where the value is actually stored so let's uh, try to see this in action so in python uh, we have this function called id which will give you the memory location of any variable that you have defined so now what we'll do is we'll again uh, create this same variable called x but this time what we'll do is we will uh, add a new value to it let's uh, give it an integer value this time or let's give a string value itself and let's call it not random we'll again try to print the value of x and we will try to print the value of id again so let's add some string here just to have more details so well uh, memory address and here we'll again have memory address so now let's run this program and see what happens okay so as you can see we have a memory address and we have again another memory address so as you can see we have only one variable here which is x but the memory address of x at this point is different from what is here so as you can see we have here 632 and here we have 560 so what is actually happening in the background is this so i'll again walk you through what is happening here so once we define this x is equals to random it goes in the memory creates an string object assigns this address to x and when we call this function id it will give you the memory location of whatever this name is pointing to and now we have the print statement for value of x now what we are doing is we are again creating or assigning a value to a name x equals to not random whenever python sees this it does two things first it will go in the memory and it will create a new object here now this time the object value will be not random and because this is in a memory it will have some address to it so let's call it address 2 and once it creates this uh, object in the memory what it will do is it will go to this namespace which is basically a dictionary and then add a new key x but in our case x is already there so it will simply override the value of x so and now it will become address 2 so now when we print the memory address of id as you can see now this is pointing to a different memory address so let me correct this it will be something like this so now because uh, this x is pointing to a different memory location we can see that now we have a different memory address this is how we create names in python and we assign different values to it and 
the data structure which manages all the names that you have defined in your program is basically called as namespace. So namespace is nothing but a mapping of the, the names and the objects that they refer to or that they point to. In Python, there are different types of namespaces. So let's look at uh, the different types of namespaces in Python. So these are the different types of namespaces in Python. Uh, we have local and enclosing namespace. We have global namespace. And finally, we have built-in namespace. So in this video, uh, we are not going to cover all of them. We'll have a separate video where I will, uh, again, try to explain in detail about all of these different types of namespaces. So please stay tuned to learn more about these namespaces. And if you have any comments, uh, if you have any feedbacks, please try to add them in the comment section. Thank you.